Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Howdy channel. Well, as was reported last night, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has died. We sent our condolences out and we continue to do so. However, it has apparently left the left literally shaking. LA actually had a 4.5 magnitude earthquake last night that jolted the entire area. So yes, the left is literally shaking. Everybody in LA is like, hey, wakey, wakey, we've had Ruth Bader Ginsburg die. Let's all start panicking, freaking out, and shake the whole planet. And they did. It was reported last night as a 4.6, so I guess they downgraded it to a 4.5. But while they're busy downgrading the earthquake of the left literally shaking, well, Trump has said that the Senate Trump to the Senate after Ginsburg's death, vote without delay on his Supreme Court pick. So as if the 4.6 or 4.5, whichever you prefer, earthquake wasn't enough to show that the liberals are absolutely freaking out. This fellow, uh, let's see, what's his name? Let's give him credit. His name is Rom, Romy, no Romy Noodles. Interesting. And he has, how long is his video? His video is, there it is, 1022. He's got twin, 10 minutes and 22 seconds of just showing all of these insane left, literally shaking rants from, and not rants, let me rephrase that, threats to the United States of America. For example, you have the upside down flag here. Uh, scars. If Rump gets another justice, burn the whole thing down. This is war if they try and replace RBG. He can totally legally do it. That's how our electoral system works. But he doesn't care. He said, burn it all down. Gee, no threats of war there. No insurrection. Because we haven't seen four months of riots ever since St. Floyd died on May 25th. No, no, no. Here we go. Let's see. What else do we have? The Democrats must fight like they have never fought before. This is a war, literally. Okay, well, if it's a war, then we're going to have to tear down your statues because you are the traitors. You are the ones that have rejected American nationalism, as in the nation of America. That was your grief for tearing down all the statues. You said they were traitors. This is war. Make no mistake, this is war. Down here, this is war. There's a theme here. Fight for her memory. Nothing else will do. And he's got 10 minutes of this stuff, of just showing all of these. Let's hear some more and then we'll move on. Democrats need to drop their self-righteousness. Wow, when were they ever that? And be ready to fight dirty this war. Because they didn't fight dirty with Kavanaugh. They're not fighting dirty in Pennsylvania right now where they've changed the rules for voting for the first time in history. With 45 days to go, they changed the rules. That's not fighting dirty. Saying you don't have to have a postmark or a signature on your ballot. And that they're going to extend the election three additional days. And that's not fighting dirty. Dude, they're already fighting dirty. Oh, sorry, Dudette. They're already fighting dirty. Uh, so, yeah, again, he's got 10 pages of this. But let's go to our favorite, shall we? The woman of the hour. No, no, sadly not Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This lady, I am not playing the sound. This channel does not do cuss words, if you've never noticed. We don't do the cuss words. She says, I'm driving your car. Shucks. Shucks. Why did you have to die? Shucks. Yeah. Shucks. All you had to do was make it to 2021, Ruth. Shucks. Ah. They're literally shaking in L.A., in their cars. These are the people that we want running the country, the ones that are threatening civil war. No, no, let me rephrase that. They're not threatening. They're, they're saying it, it exists currently. They're the ones that have been firing. I keep hearing all the time on the conservative channels. This is what they say. They say that the left is getting ready to gear up for civil war. Clearly they are. We, we read their comments. We're, we're, we're seeing how they scream shucks so many times on TikTok, oh, which is getting taken away tomorrow, I think. If not tomorrow, very, very soon. TikTok is being shut down. Okay, so, but here's the thing I, I suggest to the conservatives out there, and this is Tea Party Hardy Channel, so hopefully I've got a few conservatives watching. However, all are welcome. In a war, the side that does the shooting and the side that does the fighting, isn't that the side that wins? Just something to keep in mind. 
where have all the fire where, where have all the shots been fired who, who wins the war the ones who fight or the ones who don't because i'm watching all this fighting and it's like everybody keeps saying when's the right gonna come out and stand up now i understand the rights methodology of standing up is the voting booth but the voting booth in pennsylvania doesn't exist no no you can you can send in any ballot with no signature that's tim pool i didn't read that tim pool said that no signature but i did read and i, I did the video on this channel where the supreme court of pennsylvania said you don't have to have a postmark date you can have an illegible postmark date you can just basically stuff the ballot box all you want until 5 p.m. on election date, which again, they've never allowed. Up until now, it was always you had to have it in. So they're fighting. They're tampering. Whether or not that's fraud, I'll leave that to the judges and other courts to decide. But you cannot deny that changing the rules 45, 50 days before an election is tampering. That is the definition of tampering with an election. And making it ludicrous to say that you don't have to have it in. You've got a month and a half to get this ballot in. A month and a half. And they're saying we're going to extend it? Dude, you don't need an extension. you got a month and a half. And not only do you need to not extend it, you should be enforcing the idea, get your votes in early, get your votes in early. And no postmark. Sometimes I feel like this lady when I read this stuff about what the left does. Shucks! Shucks! Yeah. So, there you go. We hope you enjoyed the, the, the humor in this wacky little video. And, and thanks to Amy for posting this on Twitter. I like what she says here. I'm here to re-elect God Emperor Trump. Long may he reign. Just sticking it in their face. <laughs> you guys have a good day now. Unless you're a lefty, then of course you're probably doing this. And then, then we say we're, we're sorry for you. We're really sorry for you. And as far as your war goes, well, if Portland's anything... Trump sent in the, um, the feds last night for Portland to do their little stamping feet and burning, and they shut it down within 20 minutes, just like he promised at his campaign rallies. He's, oh, sorry, they're not called campaign rallies anymore because that's not legal thanks to the blue state laws. No, they are peaceful protests. That is, that is the shenanigans that the left makes you do. Keep changing the language, keep changing the rules, and just keep gobbling up power. No, thank you. We'll see you in the future.